This place is very special to me. It always makes me feel at peace. It gives me time to think about how lucky I am. But am I really? Appearances can sometimes be deceiving. My favorite part of the day is saying good morning to my children. I always try to show them that they're my whole world. Mornings can be a bit crazy. And they're not the only ones who need to get going. I love being a mom, which is why my job makes a lot of sense. The parents always tell me their kids love my daycare center and can't wait to get here every day. I'm lucky I get to do something I love. Of course, after a day with all these kids, it's always nice to have some grown-up time. I'm lucky to have such good friends. But there's nothing like coming home to my family. Dinner is always a lot of work, but we're lucky to be able to spend time with each other. I would do anything to keep my children safe and happy. I'm lucky to be with someone who works hard to take care of our family. I'm lucky to have the life I have. So why do I hate myself so much? I stand on my roof at night when my mind is racing and I can't sleep and the thoughts won't leave, which means I'm out here every night. I feel like my life has no meaning. The pain is unbearable. Come out here before anyone is awake to decide if there should be a tomorrow. And I know that if there is, the pain and the sadness and the anxiety will all start again. I hug my kids in the morning, but I feel like I'm falling apart. I'm surrounded by a family. But I feel so incredibly alone. About a year ago, it got really bad. My husband dragged me to a doctor. They wanted me to go into therapy and maybe start taking some medication, but I refused. How can a pill help the pain go away? Will that help my insecurities, my financial troubles, my depression? I'm surrounded by joy. And I just want to cry all the time. I know an attack is just around the corner. And I always ask myself during the really bad ones, is it really worth living through? My friends have their own lives, their own families. Why should I burden them? I found a way to relieve the panic when it gets really bad. Sometimes I just need to feel something. (laughs) 
the relief doesn't last long. I see a fan and think about hooking my long shawl over it. I see a lot of things as a way out. It's easier to just smile and pretend everything is fine. But at least when the battle is over, the choice will have been all mine. I love my kids so much, but I think sometimes I'd be better off with someone less sick. My husband and I barely talk, and when we do, it's like this. He thinks I should get over it, and I can't blame him. Someone who doesn't experience the emptiness, the deep sadness, the fear, will never understand it. As I'm sitting, I feel like I'm crawling in my own skin. I want to cry and scream, help me. Somebody please understand my pain. But I can't. How I dread the hour of 4 a.m. My pounding heart, the sweating, the fear, the panic. I'm so afraid. I can't get through another day feeling this way. I'm lost and scared. But I'm not ready to give up. I pushed past the pain and I made the first call. I'm on my way to getting the proper help that I need. I need to realize that there is hope, that I do have value, and that my life is worth living. Thank you.